All right, guys, we are back here to National Open for round two. Uh, weather is beautiful, uh, awesome fall day, 70 degrees, sunny, no clouds in the sky. 44 cars, we're in group one of uh, group two, or out of the two groups. Um, group one is definitely a lot stronger than group two, so we're gonna have to be on our game in qualifying. Uh, we'll see what we could do. Our qualifying's been pretty good, so let's try to keep that up. Get us on the front row of a heat race, and it'll make life a lot easier, so. Uh, we'll see what we can do tonight, guys. 75,000 going for my third national open. So let's see if we get the job done. It'd be very, very cool and uh, just an awesome, uh, you know, part of the season here. And I uh, hope we get the job done and uh, add it to the resume. So we'll see what happens, guys. We'll talk to you after. And uh, yeah, just group A, group B, and uh, take five out of each heat, four heat races. So we want to qualify in the top four in our group. So we'll see if we can do that, guys. Thanks. Your next My Place Hotels qualifiers from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillionAuto.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel. And from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, driving the Hollinger Allabach Racing, Orange Crate Brewing, Beer Hill Gang, Pilsner 5W, number 5W, it's Lucas Wolf. David Gravel in the number two, Lucas Wolf in car number 5W. Gravel 8 career Williams Grove Speedway wins. His first lap is fourth quick at a 16, 676, 16676. First lap for Lucas Wolf, seventh fastest at a 16, 723, 16, Second lap time for David Gravel is better. It is still fourth quick at a 16, 637. Acceleration begins. Green flag in the air for the second heat race. Shots with an issue in the Tony Stewart car back at Jamie Racing number 15 had been running in the third spot. Do we set to bring us back to green flag action? Four in the books, four remaining in heat race number two. David Crowell now sets his sights on TJ Stutz in the race for second, makes the big mover on the outside, can't quite make the pass there. He'll follow closely under the bridge down the back straightaway. David Crowell looking to race his way into the
Mixes up the pills, pulls out, shakes his head. The number six. Ugh. But this is the winningest track for you. So you're coming into this already with a good position. I mean, what is your approach going to be tonight, especially since you have two national open titles and the points battle is tightening up? Uh, you know, uh, we're just trying to run good every night. You know, obviously the six is, is pretty good. Uh, obviously the one would have been way better. But track's fast. I feel like we could potentially gain a row here in the dash and uh, start in fourth, hopefully, uh, you know, in a 40-lap race. Um, a lot happens, a lot changes. So the um, car's really good right now in, in the past couple weeks. So we're just going to uh, be confident and uh, see what we can do here in the dash and try to get the car really good here for the A-Main. Now we talked uh, at I-80 about being a new father and not getting much sleep. Have you gotten much sleep since then? Uh, definitely not as much uh, when, when I'm by myself, but uh, it's all worth it. And uh, it was an awesome week and uh, can't wait to go back tomorrow, but uh, hopefully uh, $75,000 richer. That would make it more fun. Good luck. Baston and DeWeese to the green in the Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash. They'll stay side by side at the end of the front stretch. Lance DeWeese up on top, grabs the early race lead. Spencer based in second. Brent Marks closing in on him as they cross under the bridge. David Gravel in the fourth spot. Challenged down low by James McFadden. Marks to the inside. Can't get by based in for second. Marks challenging a Baston down low out of turn two. They'll go side by side down the back stretch under the bridge. Brent Marks able to make the pass in turn three. Baston tries to cut back underneath him out of turn number four. They'll stay side by side, nearly banging wheels. Brent Marks slams the door to take the second spot. Spencer Baston trying to keep pace with him. David Gravel continues to run in the fourth position. Justin Peck battling with James McFadden for the fifth spot. Gravel now to the inside of Justin Peck. Or pardon me, Gravel to the inside of Spencer Baston. David Gravel makes the pass of Baston to take the third spot. All Lance DeWeese out in front. Two laps to go. Still seeing laps in the 16 second range here in the Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash. David Gravel getting slightly closer to second place. Brent Marks time running out. DeWeese crosses under the white flag. Lance DeWeese has won five Williams Grove National Opens. He'll start on the pole in his quest for a sixth tonight. He wins the Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash. Brent Marks second, David Gravel third. Lance DeWeese and Brent Marks bring us to the green flag and the Champion Oil National Open is underway at Williams Grove Speedway. DeWeese leads the field into turn one. Brent Marks challenged for second down low by Spencer Baston. Baston unable to make it by. First lap of the National Open, led by Lance DeWeese. Baston works a little lower on the speedway, trying to risk the second spot from Brent Marks. Track still lightning fast. Jacob Allen a peek to the inside of Shuffling Hodgson. That is a battle for the seventh spot. Shuffling able to hang on. Justin Peck now moving up to sixth in front number 13. David Gravel's going to run on Spencer Baston now. The race for the third spot side by side in the turns three and four. Gravel down low.
Chiefs lead. Mark second, David Crowell to third. Spencer Baston runs in the fourth spot. David Gravel coming off a fifth place run here tonight and closes in significantly at the top of the Outlaw point standings. David, uh, I want to say it's 12 or 14 or 16 points heading into the World Finals, but I want to ask, you're running on the racetrack, you're under yellow, you come by, you see Brad Sweet stopped on the front straightaway. What is going through your head knowing you know, what the circumstances are at this point in time? Yeah, obviously I saw there was a caution. It was the 49. I saw the rear axle was pretty tore out of it. So I knew he uh, blew the rear suspension, the rear arms or something out of it. So. Um, yeah, obviously at that point, I'm not happy, but I know that uh, there's a big opportunity here for something to happen, and you know, just got to be able to finish there at the end and run solid. But man, I didn't want that red flag. Our car was really good, and after that red, it just seemed like a change. But I think we really had something to win that race. Now, under that red, that was my next question. Were you asking for changes on the car? Or did you guys not change anything, and it didn't? go your way or how did, what happened there yeah we didn't change a damn thing our car was really really good we were really happy with it and uh i don't know if our tires sealed up or what but uh something changed probably the cool temperatures and uh just wasn't the same after that but uh it's all good we'll take a top five and uh move on to charlotte 
Now, speaking of Charlotte, obviously a huge week in three days of racing, 16 points. That means on average need to be Brad by about four spots. Kind of, I know it's still a ways away from now, but like, are you looking forward to that right now? Or are you looking forward to this week off to try and prepare for that? Or what's your emotions about that? Yeah, I, you know, it is what it is. We're just going to go down to Charlotte, try to win three races and see where we end up. You know, uh, it's going to be tough. Obviously, he's a really good driver and doesn't make mistakes very often. So um, we're going to have to beat him all three nights to get it done. All right, David Gravel going to chase a championship at the World Finals. dealt with her mom mostly, uh, but she, her mom battled breast cancer as well as her. She's paralyzed and she has breast cancer. It came, what, you didn't have it and then it came back and then now you're cancer free again? Yeah, I, I, I was diagnosed last uh, December of 2021. Oh, okay, awesome. She said she's cancer free right now, so very good. She's the one that we donated the money to. And, uh, they're very uh, thankful, and uh, yes, what we plan on doing, helping people out in need. Uh, the least thing we could do. All right. Yeah, thank you guys. Where's your son? I saw him earlier. Yeah, he's out here somewhere. Yeah, all good. Well, thank you. Enjoy your night, and uh, good to see you guys. Yep, thank you. All right, guys, I got more jugs I don't know what to do with here. We are at Williams Grove after the race in the hotel lobby. I'm going to start with the chocolate milk that's jarred the nicest Apple Valley Creamery. I believe I've had this before, but got to try it out. Fancy top. Cheers. Nice and thick, that's how I like it. Apple Valley is in East Berlin, PA. I can give that an 8.4. Very good. We're moving on to Maple Hoff. Maple Hoff here, a little mini jug here. Stomach's already gurgling. It's going to be a good night. Cheers, number two. Different taste, but it's good. I 
that was thicker, it would be one of the best. I'm going like 8.6. Good taste. We got Tanner Bros Farm here. People that come to Williams Grove, I believe they're part of the family. Usually when I won in Victory Lane. A couple years ago, they'd always bring it in Victory Lane. So, need a win so I could try it in Victory Lane one of these days. Mike, you're in the video. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> That one's good too. My stomach's starting to hate me. I'm gonna go 8.2. And yes, guys, I'm not cleaning my palate. I apologize, but it is midnight. And I'm gonna be flying out in like five hours, so. We got Long Acres Dairy. Pretty standard generic bottle. Barto. PA Barto with a B. Never been there, never heard of it. Try it out. Pasteurize. I don't even want to try to say that. Homogenized. Homogenized. Jesus. That's a tough. That's a tongue. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> It's different. All right, that's pretty good too. All solid stuff here in PA. I'm gonna go to 8.3. So all very good stuff. I have a Rudders, but I've drank in Rudders plenty and I just can't anymore. My stomach is killing me. So thank you guys for all the chocolate milks. All very, very good. Definitely re recommend all of them. So if any of these are close to you, go check them out. Uh, the Tanner Bros one is in Warminster. Warminster, yep, Pennsylvania. Check it out, guys. Appreciate it. We will uh, talk to you guys after. Give you a recap of the night. And, uh, yeah, enjoy your guys' week. Thanks.